Check this out. 300 years, count them, 300 years of kitchen collectibles. Now, who would have thought? You have an old fork, you got a rolling pin, that's a collectible. What is that about? But it is. This book has, I mean, I can't believe it. This book has over a thousand pages. And it's filled with kitchen stuff. Let me just turn to some of this. You just won't even believe your eyes. You know what's really cool right now? You know what's hot? Molds. Very cool. Check it out. Let me show you some of these molds. Here's molds that look like little pigs and lambs, but that's not where I'm going with this. What I really want to show you is a mold that looks, it's copper. Here's copper molds. I'm just going to read you a few things, but I have a copper mold right here. I want to show you. I had a customer come in here the other day, wanted a copper mold, a fish mold. And you know what this person had on this copper mold? He wanted to put them, he wanted to do a swarm, a school of fish on his wall. And I'm not kidding you. These copper molds, these, this is a newer one. This isn't a really old one. But this particular mold is copper. People do put them on the wall still. And this is probably worth maybe $10 or $15. But they made molds out of all kinds of things. I think we might have looked at a tin one a little while back. They're just, they're just incredible, these molds. Look at the fishies. See? There's a whole assortment of fish molds. I mean, maybe the guy that wanted the fishing molds, maybe he collects fish lures as well. Maybe this guy's theme is fish. You know, whatever turns you on. Check these jello molds out. Aren't they cool? Cake molds, jello molds. They even had chocolate molds made out of tin, made out of metal, made out of plastic later on. Look at that. Look at these like big fountains. They're so cool. Don't you just feel like you want to put a fish mounting of molds on your wall? I mean, really, a whole display of fish. 300 years of kitchen collectibles. Check it out.